Today's Chicago Bears postgame show is presented by Manscaped. If you want the best men's grooming products on the market, go to manscaped.com and use promo code BEARS20. That's promo code BEARS20 at manscaped.com. Okay, let's get into the reaction. Cardinals 33, Bears 22. It wasn't that close. It was a garbage touchdown late uh, by Chicago with the two-point conversion. Otherwise, it was 33-14. to 14. As the Bears lose yet again to fall to 4-8 and eight on the season, the Cardinals improved to 10-2 and two with the win on Sunday. And it's just, you know, it's just another garbage game. I mean, Andy Dalton, four picks. The defense didn't have a chance with what the offense did today. And look, the chatter naturally is going to continue around Matt Nagy. I'm basically just going to rant for the next 8 to 10 minutes, and uh, you guys join me. Be active in the comment section. Uh, let your feelings out. I think it's time. Fire Matt and Aggie. Don't wait till the end of the season. Do it on Monday, please. Just just do it. Rip the Band-Aid off. Like, it, there's just no point to keep this guy. Type F in in the chat. If you agree, if you think it's time to fire Matt and Aggie, type F in in the comment section. Basically, I've seen enough. Like, I just, I've just seen enough, and... Look, everything is never on the head coach, and I get all that, but, like, you're not bringing him back next year. So, like, why would you keep this guy? Please, 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 please fire this coach. The chance of fire Nagy throughout Illinois. Like, you want all that shit to go away? Just fire the coach. I mean, you have to do something. Like, this performance at home coming off 10 days of rest, it's just – a disaster. You got embarrassed, and I get it. Arizona's good and all that. And sure, you fought. You scored late to make it sort of interesting, but it was never close. You didn't even – Arizona didn't have to do anything special because you just continued to give them short fields with how bad the offense was. Just fire the coach, please. Can you please just do it? Keeping Matt Nagy does nothing. He's gone after this year. He knows he's gone. We'll talk about that more throughout this show. So fire Matt Nagy. Type F in in the comments section. Help a brother out. Subscribe to the channel. I know things are hard. I think I know things are tough. Being a Bears fan right now is not easy. Uh, you think I like watching this team every week? It's uh, especially when Justin Fields doesn't play. It's difficult. It's very very difficult. But we're gonna have videos every single day. We'll continue to keep you guys up to date with the latest news and rumors, injury updates, and a whole lot more. So subscribe. Help me out. Let's get to 38,000 subs. We're at 37,549. I want to get to 38K before next Sunday's game against the Green Bay Packers on Sunday Night Football. Yay, how fun is that going to be at Lambeau Field? Subscribe, youtube.com slash bears now. All right, let's talk about the quarterback. Um, Andy Dalton, 26-41, 229. A lot of that volume on the last drive, by the way, including one of the touchdowns. Four interceptions. Uh, I've had people tell me for weeks, start Andy Dalton. He gives you a better chance to win. Start him. And I've said uh, he's not part of the future. If Fields is healthy, he should start. Y'all still want Dalton to start? And, look, I'm not saying that uh, Fields hasn't had bad games. He has. I'm not even saying Dalton maybe doesn't give you a slightly better chance. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying playing him in this season at this point, you're 4-8 and eight now, does nothing for you. It doesn't. You're not making the playoffs. He's not going to re-sign here, I don't think. If he does, it'll be as a backup. What is the point of playing Andy Dalton once Justin Fields gets healthy? Now, I know today Fields wasn't healthy. That's fine. I don't have a problem with that. If he's healthy, that's good. But a lot of you guys like, yeah, play Dalton. He gives you a better chance. This team isn't making the playoffs, okay? Fields needs to play. He needs to get the reps, all right? Like, Andy Dalton starting does zilch, nada, nothing for this team long term. And I like Andy Dalton. I went to TCU. I've met him a couple times. He's a great dude. But that's not what this is about. This is about the long term at this point. This season is cooked. You're done. Stick a fork in it. It's irrelevant. So get Fields healthy and get him on the fucking field. Because playing Andy Dalton does nothing for this franchise, okay? Playing Nick Foles, a lot of, oh, put Nick Foles in there. That does nothing. These guys aren't the future, okay? You need Justin Fields to play. You need a new coach. We know that. But until that happens, you got to focus on Fields. And playing Fields is very, very important once he's 100% healthy. I miss Justin Fields. Hell, at least it gives me a reason to watch. Uh, if he's not out there, what reason do we have other than, for me, 
uh, I'm the host of this channel, so I'm going to keep watching. But if I was a casual fan and Fields wasn't playing, why would I watch, right? Why would you guys watch? I miss the. I want to see him play. I want to see him grow. I want to see him continue to improve uh, and uh, give this team some hope for the future. Type me in the chat if you miss Justin Fields because when he's not playing, there's just very little reason to watch if we're all being completely honest. Now, Manscaped is today's presenting sponsor, and hey, Andy Dalton's got a gnarly beard, and so do I, but you want to keep it trimmed, not just up here, but downstairs, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Manscaped is the place to go. The best men's grooming products on the pro on the market, including the Lawnmower 4.0, which is 20% off at manscaped.com, promo code BEARS20, uh, four adjustable guards, wireless charger, it's waterproof, it's got a light on it as well, so if you can't see some of those deep dark spots, boom, you can shave it, clean it up, and your girl is going to appreciate it. Get 20% off plus free shipping at manscaped.com, promo code BEARS20. That's promo code BEARS20 at manscaped.com. They also have a ton of other men's grooming products. They're also in the shampoo and body wash game now. Manscaped's crushing it. Uh, so go uh, help out, uh, help us out and uh, give love to our sponsors because they are the reason we can do these shows. Um, to keep it moving here, Pace and Nagy should be fired today, right now. By the time I publish this video, they should be unemployed. And look, I, I said earlier this week, we should stop the fire and Nagy chance at arenas and stuff across the state. And I still agree with that because that isn't helping. But that doesn't mean that he shouldn't be fired, right? Like, just because I'm saying don't chant fire Nagy at an Illinois basketball game doesn't mean he shouldn't be fired and I don't want him fired. He should be. And so should Ryan Pace. You've got to get rid of these guys. You have to go in a new direction because – it's just not working. It's just not working, and you need fresh blood in here. You need this fan base to have something to latch on to heading into next season. Could you imagine if we brought back Ryan Pace and Matt Nagy, what the reaction from the fans would be? It would be an absolute disaster. Fire these guys right now, both of them. They have to go today. Uh, do you want to talk about, uh, at least briefly, David Montgomery? He was a bright spot. 90 yards rushing and a touchdown. Should have had a second one. I thought that was a weird reversal. Uh, he was good. Eight catches, 51 yards. He was the lone bright spot for this offense. Um, that's a piece moving forward. Khalil Herbert's a piece moving forward. Darnell Mooney's a piece moving forward. Justin Fields is a piece moving forward. Cole Komet had a tough day. He's one step forward, two steps back, unfortunately. Got to find consistency there. We'll see about the rest of this offense. Sam Mustaver, he stinks, by the way, as we kind of just focus on the offense here. But David Montgomery's a hell of a back. The guy just runs so hard. Uh, so kudos to him. He was fighting. He was scratching. He was crawling, trying to uh, – give this team a chance, uh, but just not nearly enough. Not nearly enough uh, for the Chicago Bears, uh, but he gave it his all at the end of the day. How angry are you as a Bears fan currently? One Scale of 1 to 10, 1 being, oh, not at all, no big deal. I'm still going to go sip some mimosas and have a good day. 10 being, this is fucking bullshit. I'm tired of it. I want something different. How are you not at like a 25? Like, you got to be so angry at this point with what you're seeing with this football team, with this organization. Like, it's just frustrating because I'm not saying this is a perfect roster. It definitely isn't. There's a lot of flaws. There's dead money uh, on the salary cap in the future. But I think a competent coach and uh, a healthy team this year could have made the playoffs, honestly. But you just don't have that. You have a bad coaching staff, and, uh, and your GM is questionable. So uh, scale it 1 to 10, 1 being not at all angry, 10 being very angry. You could also type, like, 50 if you're – Incredibly angry. That's where I am at at this point in time. Uh, I didn't want to mention this. Brad Biggs tweeted this during the game. Not that it particularly matters, but sure looks like Matt Nagy is calling offensive plays. So I have a lot of thoughts about that. Um, my main thought is the only reason you would take back play calling if you're Matt Nagy is if you know you're fired and you're trying to maybe put out tape of, hey, I can call plays. I can be an offensive coordinator for a team. Once I get fired, he knows he's cooked. Like, Matt Nagy is so fired, it's not even funny. And that's why keeping him the rest of the season is pointless. It's just pointless. Get him out of here. He, I don't even think he wants to be here at this point. He knows he's done. And, you know, there were good moments. 2018 was fun. But at the end of the day, it's over. It's over. Wipe your hand clean of it. Get him out of here. He's cooked. He knows he's cooked. And if he took back play calling, uh, then it's like, dude, like, I mean, <laughs> What do you what what else what evidence do you guys need? He's so desperate, he's taking play calling back. I think it's because he knows he's fired. So um, there you go. I that those are my main thoughts on that. 
Help me out. Follow me on Instagram, at HGramNFL. Trying to grow my profile over there. We're over 600 followers. Shout out to all of you who followed me during our watch party. I'm trying to get to 1,000 followers by the end of 2021. We're over 600 in about two, in about two weeks. I watched this about two weeks ago. More Bears content, more uh, Bears stuff. I'm going to do some Instagram Lives once we get beyond 1,000 followers. So... Help me out. Once we get to 1K, we'll do some live Q&A, some stuff like that on Instagram. At HGramNFL, go ahead and give me a follow over there. So there you go. That's kind of your recap of week 13. Cardinals 33, Bears 22. And look, I'll give the Cardinals credit. Good football team, well coached. Kyler Murray, DeAndre Hopkins came back, did their thing. Uh, but you give them a ton of short fields, and uh, you're not asked uh, to uh, – to do that much. I do want to mention one thing. Don't blame the defense. Uh, I know you gave up 33 points. Total yardage, though, 257 yards allowed. You gave this team four short fields. I mean, Cardinals are good. You give them short fields, you turn the ball over like Andy Dalton did, uh, you're in trouble. You're in big, big trouble. And uh, Kyler Murray and company made them pay. So uh, don't blame the side. Don't blame the defense. Out uh, they played hard, but uh, the offense let them down which has been the case for three years now, which is why Matt Nagy needs to be fired. All right, Bears are 4-8. and eight. There's uh, five games left. The Bears will win blank games this year. Five, six. Feels like a 6-11 and 11 type of team to me. They're going to lose next week in Green Bay, Sunday Night Football. They'll lose that game, so they'll be 4-9. and nine. Uh, How many wins? What do you think? Bears will win blank games this year. Hey, at least the Bears aren't the Vikings. Vikings lost to the Lions today, but... Uh, Answer this question, how many games will the Bears win this year? Minimum of four, maximum of nine, five games left. Bears sit at four and eight. All right, appreciate everybody for tuning in to our post-game show. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. It's tough, it's unfortunate, but we'll continue to have daily videos for you guys, youtube.com slash bears. Now, go ahead and subscribe right now.